My name is Jewel Tice Williams, and people probably best know me for being the owner of the Catch One Disco. When we opened the disco, there were dance club laws that stated that you could not uh, dance with the same sex, that it was against the law to do that. And so the disco time was perfect because everybody just got out there and danced together. At its peak, we were, we were seeing three or 4,000 people in a week's time and, and making uh, lots of money at one time and um, finding out that, that that didn't do what I thought it would do as a kid. I still never felt a sense of, of worth with, with, with what it was that I had achieved. The AIDS epidemic began for, for me anyway, in 1980-81. Um, that changed my life uh, tremendously. I uh, began, well, actually, I had, I had gone to Houston and opened a Catch One Houston there in 1980. But I was spending most of my time in Houston when, uh, when I first found out about, about uh, AIDS. Shortly after that, I closed the club in Houston and came back to LA and became involved, especially in the minority community, along with um, um, Archbishop Carl Bean, uh, who had founded the uh, Unity Fellowship of Christ Church. Uh, out of that came the Minority AIDS Project, so we worked diligently on that. It was predominantly African American. Um, in general, uh, our health needs are not attended to in the same manner as the broader society. The majority of the kids were, were not probably working or, or had any health insurance or any place to go or any place to turn with it. So it meant, you know, starting an agency and this is what we did. We were sustained basically uh, monetarily in a big way by by the revenue that that uh, the catch uh, was able to to contribute to the cause I feel fortunate enough to to at, at the time when the catch was was at the top of its money making uh, time that we were able to to give in in a substantial way to making those two organizations happen. Over the years, I've, I've done a lot of transforming, I think. Um, from a shy, very introverted kid to uh, have to come out and take the stage and, and advocate for for various groups that didn't have a voice. And so I had to kind of suit up and show up and, and get over my shyness. And then once becoming sober, I had to get over my shyness without being able to drink or use to, to do that. So I knew it was possible for anybody to, to uh, get what they, what they desired, what they could vision in life. So uh, I came up with the two Ps for me, and that's uh, patience and perseverance, to stay on the path and be patient. Um, as they say in 12-step lingo, be patient with the, be patient with the process. So um, it took a while for everything to develop and, and I'm just uh, grateful and, you know, for, for having built in patience to see, to see things through and not to give up ever.